In a previous demo, we had a look at the default client settings and we said that we can override these settings by creating custom policies. And custom device settings allow us to override default values for specific clients. And unlike the default client settings, custom settings apply only to the collections to which we assign them. So in this demonstration here, we're going to have a look at how we can create and configure and assign a custom client setting. So what we've done here is we come into our admin console. We've got the administration workspace and we've got the client settings. The next thing we're going to do here is we're actually going to create a custom client device setting. So we'll right click on client settings and what we're going to do here is we're going to create a custom client device setting. This will then bring us into a wizard. So within the wizard we now need to start filling out some information. I'm going to call this one LON space server space systems and the description for this is going to be client settings for all London based server systems. Now that we've done this, what we need to do is we now need to start modifying some of the settings. So the first thing I'm going to go for here is I'm just going to go for the state messaging tick box. And the purpose of this setting here is just to control how often the client sends state messages back to the management point. So what we'll do here is just highlight this and what we want to do here is we want to specify this as 15 minutes. So now that we've done that, what we'll do at this point here is we'll just select OK. And as you can see, we've now added the LON server systems. Now what we can see here is this has a lower priority. So the way that this will work is we'll actually apply this priority here first of 10,000 first off and then it will then apply the lower priority. But creating it is not enough. We now need to actually assign this to a collection. So what we're going to do at this point here is we're just going to right click and then we're going to click deploy. Then what we want to do here is we just want to specify what we want to deploy this to. And in our case here, what we're going to do here is we're going to do this to all Windows servers and select OK. Then if we come down to the bottom here, all we're going to do in our preview pane is just click on deployments. And what we can see is now LON server systems is deployed against all Windows servers. And we can see the time it was assigned and we can see the collection ID as well. Now let's create one for our client. So similar sort of thing, we'll right click and we will create this time a custom client device setting. And again, it'll bring us into wizard and we just need to fill out our information. I'm going to call this one Windows 8 Client Systems and the description would be Client Settings for all Windows 8 Client Systems. So now that we've done this, what we need to do is we just need to actually specify some of the things that we're going to change. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're just going to add our client policy. And the other thing I'm going to go for here is state messaging. So if we change the client policy and what we want to do with the client policy to start with here is we're going to change this to poll every 30 minutes to connect to our management point and select OK. We're just going to leave the state messaging as the default. Now, as we can see, if we right click on any of these things here, what we can do is we can increase the priorities or what we can also do as well as if we go for one above this one, we can decrease priorities as well. So we can actually change the order in which these run. And that's the end of this demonstration of creating custom client settings. Thank you.